Yes. Sir. All right. So, um, real quick, uh, do you still think democracy is a bad system? Like I've been watching, I've been binge watching your shit since like December after I saw you in that fucking uh, that uh, alternative media report that was that bullshit thing that was released in October or whatever. You remember? Uh-huh. That? And yeah, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I just there are a lot of problems with it right now. But yes, but no. So like, I'm, okay, but um, and real quick, uh, as an aside, when do you have any like ideas as to when exactly you're going to do that 2020 presidential de- Democratic <laughs> candidate shit? I don't know yet. Sometime um, soon though. All right, but um, have have it. All right, uh, have any of your trans views evolved since and or because of your talks with contrapoints? Um, no, I mean I think they're more or less pretty much the same. Okay. Um, what about your views on like autism? Like, like I'm autistic, or at least uh-huh. I'm, so I'm self-diagnosed for like four or five years. Like right after high school, I f- started figuring out why I was the way I was. I was mixed, misdiagnosed with ADHD. Not really misdiagnosed. It's on. T- it's below that. Whatever. I think. Okay. I think like. Th- uh, uh, I'm gonna breathe a minute. I've been out for hours. Sorry. Um, yeah. No. That's fine. Uh. So I've been. Shit, where was I? So, like, I was misdiagnosed with ADHD when I was mm-hmm. eight. I took, I started taking, like, you know, Stratera and, like, you know, SSRIs for that shit for, like, four years. Didn't help. Uh, okay. I stopped when I was 12. But basically what I'm saying is that, like, the, it, it, those were, it was really, like, highly diagnosed, like, what, 10, 15 years ago? Mm-hmm. ADD, and now, like, autism seems to be the hot thing. But, so I'm not sure if whether or not it's something, uh, whether or not... It's just because I'm like logical, like which is one of the reasons why I really like you, for example. I'm like gravitate towards your shit, or whether or not it's like I'm actually autistic, or and and whether or not it's like you know some something just being overdiagnosed, like you know, like it's hard to. Okay. Uh, should, would you recommend I like go to therapy? Like, have you ever done therapy? Or I don't know if you can do um therapy for autism i don't know how that works well, if it's like, just like, like like cognitive behavioral therapy or like uh there's another one i forget the name of it but dialectic uh, behavioral therapy it's dbt or something or dialectical C- C- cbt cognitive behavioral therapy yeah that's there's cbt and then there's something else called dbt but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm familiar yeah. with yeah but like would you like i, I want to go i want to go to therapy just to work on my impulse control but i don't know it's like from shit, from videos I've watched of you in the past, it, it seems like, uh, like I'm hoping that your views have ex- ex- been expounded upon because of your talks with uh, with both people who have mentioned autism and people. Like, have you talked with people with uh, with like high function? Yeah, like, definitely. Function? Yeah, I have. Yeah. And like, like, what do you do? You see it as something that needs to be cured, like like that bullshit between Contra and fucking Blair White, or do you or do you see it as something that it's just a fact of life and that we should try and orient society around these people. Um, I don't know. That's a really hard one. It seems to me that like being autistic presents like a lot of like strict negatives without very many advantages, but I could be wrong on that. Um, like, I don't know. That was just, I remember you saying okay. that in the, mm-hmm. in, in the post discussion with, with you and Contra, like you said that like something along those lines. Yeah. And I'm like, why is it you think that, that it's just, it, it, it strikes me as odd that you, that like, I don't know. Um, well, it seems like um, a lot of the problems that very autistic people have are like understanding or empathizing with other people. And that seems to be like a pretty fundamental thing that a lot of society is built around is being able to understand and empathize with other people. Right. Okay. But fair enough. But like, well, yeah, you're right. Like empathy is a big part of it. But mm-hmm. I, like, wasn't like, like, isn't one of the big uh, things, the one of the diagnostic criterion, uh, like trouble with socializing in general but and like not all autistic people have this but like don't most people or most autistic people have trouble socializing in general because i don't well yeah but it's that... and it's weird so like i don't know but again, wait you'd say you don't have any trouble socializing at all or i've i i i actually like religiously talked to not religiously but like i mm-hmm. went and out of my way to talk to random strangers when I was really young, you know, like I didn't yeah. understand. Yeah, just because you have autism doesn't mean you'll never be social, right? No, right? No, no. Or, of course yeah. not, of course not. But, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. It's, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, do you think... Uh, anyways, um, but, so, like, you don't still think that, like, it's a, something that should be cured or no? Or, like, like, like what do you... 
I mean, I don't know if I don't think you can cure right, autism. Right, no, like, right. it's just a different way that you kind of have to learn how to do social interaction. It's kind of like you can't like I don't think you can cure dyslexia, so like, um, but you can help people that have dyslexia like learn to read in different ways or whatever, right? So like cure society, like so cure the person more so orient society around thinking or like 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 accepting these individuals. Well, yeah, and then having the individuals themselves like learn how to like approach like social interactions and conversations better, yeah, right? Yeah, through like therapy or whatever. Or, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, last quick question. Well, two more really. But um, okay. what are your thoughts between or like surrounding the intersectionality between samples in music and copyright law? Like, do you think copyright law should be updated or changed in some way to? orient itself around the people who want to sample or do you think that people should just keep continuing down the route of like what happened after 91 with with fucking uh big daddy kane with like the big loss well the people that sample now like still have like have to religiously get like copyright approval and shit don't they yes but what i'm saying is that like the idea is that you know music is built on the shoulders of giants it's been like that for what thousands of years huh would you agree or disagree with that? Yeah, that all like all art, especially it's, but it's, well, music, especially is derivative, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I definitely you have to agree with that. Yeah. So, like in, in that view, like in, in in regards to like, would you say it would be better for someone to forego getting the same tonality and the same human uh, timing with like by directly sampling, or would you say it's better to just pay royalties or not, 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 or not even pay royalties and just uh, like re have someone replay it, like, like pay someone to like go find someone. Oh, that's like, a, that's like a, I don't think that's a right or wrong though. That's totally stylistic. Like okay. I think like Jay-Z, I think prefers to re-record things that he I, likes. Other people just sample. Right, like I sample profusely, but I, but I think of it as like, a, like one, recontextualizing other people's music so I can, re so I can introduce it to people who may have, who may have like have not been exposed to it or will not ever like outside of this context be exposed to it right uh-huh but like do you see that as like immoral moral like like we're, like this is just getting into the more the morality of surrounding like i mean it's a combination of morality and the like it's law because of copyright shit but like do you Wait. So what? Sorry, so real like, quick. So what exactly? Considering, considering music, most music is derivative of, of other previous forms of music. Uh huh. It's not immoral to to take to to re to like sample someone else's material so long as you give them credit. Like I always credit my artist or the you know whatever artist I'm sampling. Oh I'll sure. Like, I think this has less to do with music and 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 art. And, and whatever, in order to do generally with like copyright, yeah. like morality or whatever. Per personally, like especially when it comes to art, um, I think I'm almost completely opposed to anything having to do with um, copyright. I, I just I don't like the idea of it at all. Like all so art is derivative. Yeah, but yeah so and it seems like all you do is you end up hurting the public. You you yeah. deprive the public of stuff they could be entertained with. Of like, you know? the, of like the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, to enjoy new forms of art and whatnot or, because you have laws that protect. Like, or to even like create. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But okay. Um, let me think here. If there's anything else? Because I, I made a list of like, because like, because like I noticed that like you sometimes uh, you don't always catch your screen, but 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 or like you know, when when you're not playing a video game and you're debating somebody or talk, just mm -hmm. having a discussion, as you like to put it, <laughs> I like to put it that same way. So I see what okay. that. But um, okay. like you you make notes. Like is that just something you you learn to do so you wouldn't forget? Like in a moment, or is that just something you've done all your life? Or oh no, it's just something that helps me keep track of like conversations that are going on in case somebody like, is bringing up a lot of points and doesn't like me to interrupt like, them. Or like you know, you're, like, you mean like if you're getting like gish galloped or, or whatever? Kind of. I mean, I don't think people necessarily have to be gish galloping for me to just keep track of their points and write it down. Right. But uh, sometimes, so yeah. Like a, so it's more like a memory thing, like a short-term memory. Thing kind of, yeah, sure. Or help, help, or whatever. Okay. Uh, just, um, but yeah. Keep doing what you do. Uh, it's, um, real quick, um, mm -hmm. in regards, like I notice you keep bringing Twitter up every now and again. I'm not sure if you have any, or if you can even speak on this. So if you can't, like, t tell me now. But like, is there a reason why you don't publicly like put your Twitter out there anymore, or is that? Um, I kind of do, but I'm technically not supposed to have one, so I just say it's my friend. I was friends. gonna say like, yeah, like, 
didn't, because I, I saw on one of your old videos just the other day, I didn't know you had made a second account, but like, mm -hmm. it was like not on the Destiny, it was something right after that when you got banned, but whatever. Yeah. Anyways, um, real quick, like, I, I, like last final question, because I know you're a couch for writing in a minute. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, fuck Twitter. Um, no, no, not fuck Twitter, but damn it, words. Uh, whatever, you know, forget it. I'll, 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 I'll just jump in next week. Is that cool? Okay, yeah, sure. But yeah, all right. I'll just write this down for later. Anyways, it was great. I'm, this, I'm very <laughs> flustered right now, if you can't tell. Yeah, no, that's so, fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a big fan, so you, yeah, just, you know, keep on keeping on. And mm -hmm. deuces, my bro. My dude. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate Good. it, buddy. Bye-bye.